This video explains how to create a multiplication table using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. If we want to calculate a multiplication table, it makes a lot of sense to create a user-defined function to create such a table. And the user-defined function that I'm going to create in this tutorial is shown in lines two to six of the code. And this function will be called fun mult tab. And within this function, we need to specify two parameters, the parameter x, which is corresponding to the multiplier of our multiplication table, and the parameter len, which is corresponding to the length of our multiplication table. And then within this user-defined function, I'm specifying a for loop, which is looping over the length of our table. And for each of the rows in our table, it creates a new output, which is based on the print and paste functions. And this output shows the multiplication that we want to perform, and it actually performs this multiplication. So this code might look a little bit complex. However, I will put the entire code of this video into the description of the video, so you can simply copy and paste this user-defined function from there. However, after running these lines of code, you can see that this user-defined function is appearing at the top right. And now we can apply this function to each parameter that we want to use. So for instance, we could use the function for the parameters x is equal to 5 and a length of 10. So after running line 8 of the code, you can see that a new multiplication table is appearing at the bottom in the RStudio console. And this multiplication table tells us that 5 times 1 is equal to 5, 5 times 2 is equal to 10, and so on, up to the value 10, which is the length of our table. So in this case, 5 times 10 is equal to the value 15. Now we can modify these parameters as we want. So for instance, we could also use an x value of 3 and a length of 7, as you can see in line 10 of the code. And then a different multiplication table is returned, which is telling us that 3 times 1 is equal to 3, and 3 times 7 is equal to 21. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.